Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with SuccessForYourSongs.com, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to write lyrics that you can feel. Uh, and this happens when you use prosody in your lyric writing. In other words, having all the ideas for your song um, being on the same level. They're all working towards one main goal. So having your lyrics and your music working together. Now we're going to look at this by taking a listen to one of my songs, which is called uh, What Time Is It Where You Are? And the reason I offer you this song is not to say that because I wrote it, it's so great or anything like that. But instead, um, you know, I know the thought process that went in here. So while if you're a fan of this channel uh, and this website, you've heard me talk about hit songs before and some of the moves that they make there, uh, I'm talking about those kind of from the final result. But here we can look at the final result and the thought process that I had uh, while I was writing the song too. So I can really give you everything as far as that goes. And, you know, either you think this concept works and you can try and use something similar for your own music, or maybe you think it sucks. And in that case, you know, just stay away from it totally. Okay, so I'd like to start out by having you take a listen to the song. Um, I'll put a link for it right on this video so that you can check it out. Um, and when you're listening to it, pay attention to the lyrics, especially in the choruses because uh, that's really what we're going to be focusing on in this video. So do that, come back, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so now that you've done that, um, let's take a look at some things here. Now, one thing that hopefully you got out of this song is that it is about longing. Um, so the overall idea is uh, we're using time here uh, as a way of conveying distance instead of you know, what you would normally use there, which is distance. Um, so time is, is the new thing that's talking about how far away somebody can be. Um, and we really want to focus on the choruses here, which is what I asked you to take a listen to. So uh, the choruses in these lyrics I have highlighted in blue. And before we move on, I just wanted to mention that uh, we have a couple of free cheat sheets for you for writing better lyrics that you can download by tapping the little I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So grab those if you don't yet have them. And also if you're not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, you can hit that little YouTube subscribe button in the bottom right hand side of the screen. So be sure to do that as well. Okay, back to the song. Now, so one thing that I tried to do with these choruses, uh, I thought about rhyme scheme here a lot. Okay, so the chorus says, what time is it where you are? Because though we're under the same stars, my heart wears a scar because you feel so distant. So the idea was to, um, to rhyme on every line, and there are reasons why sometimes you may want to skip a line when you're rhyming, uh, and sometimes you want to rhyme on every line for, for a stronger connection. So here I was looking to develop a very strong uh, connection with, with my rhymes in the chorus. So R rhymes with stars, rhymes with scar, because I really wanted to set up this fourth line where you were very much expecting to hear because you feel so far, okay? So then instead, I say distant, um, and then you hear that and you're going, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Obviously, it was supposed to be far, <laughs> um, but then you don't get that, you get distant. Okay, so the chorus two, the same thing happens. Um, the chorus two is, is the same lyrically. Uh, so you end on, you feel so distant, right? And then when we go into the final chorus, there's a double chorus here. Um, there's a stripped down chorus before going into the final um, fully arranged chorus. Uh, and this time distant is dropped out. And instead, uh, that last line is just because you feel so, and it leaves out that word. And then this last chorus even gets um, stretched out even more by repeating because you feel so for several lines. And then finally, when we get to the very last line of the song, that's where you get your rhyme because you feel so far. So that's the very last thing you hear. So if we take a listen to this one part of the song, this is the first chorus. You can see this is around uh, a minute 12. And this is where you hear, we feel so distant. Feel so dis Let me kill this click track. Try that again. So that's the first time you were probably expecting to hear uh, the word far, and instead you got distant. And it's not until the end of the song, which is 
about four minutes in, so three minutes later when you're finally getting that run. So, so three minutes and then that final chorus uh, elongates by having all these extra lines because you feel so, because you feel so, because you feel so, repeated, repeated, repeated. Um, so that happens here. Time is it where So finally it does deliver on that. Um, and you know, the overall idea here was again, distance and, and longing um, and somebody feeling far. Um, you know, we're just thinking about it in, in terms of time instead of distance, like I mentioned earlier. But now you as a listener get, get to feel that, uh, that distance because of this rhyme that you expected to happen the first time around. Um, and it would have been uh, not as strong, I think, had I had I, um, you know, not rhymed the first three lines together. Because, I, like I said earlier, I really wanted to create that expectation on the fourth line, and you don't get it until the very end of the song. So now you're feeling what the narrator of the song is singing about, which is um, this idea of feeling so far from somebody um, and having this thing that you expected to be right there instead being very far away. So. This is, uh, this is prosody in your lyric writing. This is having a, a lyrical idea tie into what your music is doing and how it's making your listener feel while they're hearing the song. Okay, so I hope you found that information useful. If you'd like to hear the song again, I've got uh, the video for it right here on the screen. You can also save it to your streaming service there. Uh, and also, if you would like a lot more ways for improving your lyric writing, I've got a couple of free cheat sheets for you that can download by tapping on the screen here. And if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel to stay updated on our latest songwriting videos, uh, you can tap our logo on the screen for that. So thank you for checking this one out, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.